Um, this is a follow-up video to my previous one that showed off the uh, UE4 Voxel Plugin Pro plus Ultranology 5 and Ultradynamic Sky and Weather working together. I had a couple astute observers who asked a couple questions, so I kind of wanted to give a little bit of progress. I worked on this for a couple um, days and just kind of tracked down some of the issues to see if I could figure out and fix some of the things that they asked about. First one is by MJ. She asked about um, raindrops hitting the ground under the water instead of on the water surface. That's a little bit more complicated. I'm going to need to track down some more information because now you have raindrops hitting a dynamic fluid. Um, don't know if that's a possible, but I'll, I'll work with some of the creators of these and see if I can track that one down. Uh, there's another one that shows underwater fog costs or caustics and light rays. So if you've seen some of the oceanography um, videos, you may have seen um, more advanced lighting underwater. And uh, I'm just kind of want to show uh, what they're asking about there here in... Um, one of the demo maps, um, Oceanology, we can look here and under the map, the, the caustics and god rays here. And so this is what MJ is asking about. Like, so you can see this is a beautiful like underwater ship here. You can notice that um, these reflections on the bottom are the caustics that MJ is asking about and like the god rays coming through. And so... Uh, MJ was asking, hey, where? why does your stuff not have that? And I can kind of show you the two pieces of, um, the two components in here that kind of make that work. Um, and one of them is the exponential height fog, which gives it a little bit more, um, uh, you know, bloom effect going on. I don't fully understand all the physics behind it, but it's kind of making the, the natural light that's coming through expand out. So it's just kind of fogging it out and giving you some, some of the cool... Um, the fog that's under there and then more importantly the caustics are caused by the directional light so if we disconnect the light you'll notice there's no light coming from the sun and it looks pretty bland um, pretty lame um, and so these are the two demos and like if we hit play you can see there's you know they've got some buoyancy and swimming and stuff with with this um, character that's built in um, and in fact if we go down a little bit further uh, I haven't really figured out how to get the controls in this particular demo working, but you can kind of see as we float up how pretty it looks, right? Um, so that's what um, MJ was asking about. Um, so you can see the plugin itself can, supports it and makes it look cool, but the difference between the scene that I'm using and the one here is this uses a direct exponential um, height fog that's been put in and a directional light simulating the sun. And I'm actually using ultimate dynamic weather for this. Um, and so if we go back up to the map that I'm using here, uh, we don't have either of these. And I experimented kind of with these components, and I haven't really gotten a good example of um, it yet. But you can see, you'll notice in this particular scene, um, I've kind of expanded out the, uh, the land mass a little bit more, so it looks pretty. Um, but you can, you can see that there's um, this nice kind of bloom effect going on in the water here in this particular scene. And... Um, I noticed when I was uh, <laughs> playing with this is that originally I had the the um, light at about a thousand, and so um, you know you could kind of see it was from above, and there wasn't really any of this this fog here. But if if we just kind of turn down the time of day so that the sun is rising, you'll notice as we turn down the time of day, it gets more and more of that bloom effect, more and more of that going on. Um, and one of the things that I wasn't able to figure out yet was why the caustics aren't coming in here. Um, and I, there was some discussion on Discord about this. Actually, someone else who's using the Voxel plugin ran into a similar issue. And it has to do with, the, I think, um, the way that the uh, ocean's height compares to the Voxel world's height. Um, and I think the person who created Oceanography 5 is kind of looking at it and working on a final fix for this. So, um, But so I just wanted to kind of show you like how, how I've worked on this and kind of where these effects are coming from versus the o oceanography uh, demos themselves. So another thing that um, oceanography fixed with a 5.03 version of their plugin that they just figured out was, you'll notice if we hit play here, um, you can see our protagonist here. Um, she's able to run around in the editor. Um, she's able to, you know, bore a hole through um, bore a hole through the underground or the underwater like um, thing uh, and just kind of you know swim around well I guess run around 
SpongeBob style. Um, and so we're actually able to see deformation here using the voxel engine. So you can see the world's deformable. Um, we punched a hole through there and closed it up. Um, and we can just run up to the top here and see our, our clone that we've been, our champion clone. Um, I also got the sound working a little bit better. I figured out how the sound worked better. So underwater sound versus sound on top. Um, and so from here, I'm just going to go and outline something else that another person on the video noticed uh, if we stop this. Kind of zoom out a little bit. Um, you'll notice here that I've got like one chunk of, of the land sitting outside of the water here. And you can kind of see the foam breaking up against here. Um, and uh, this person, let's call him out by name, Ian Burke had a good observation as well. He said um, he's looking at the ultradynamic sky, which I think is fantastic. The weather in and of itself is like the best stuff. Um, he's got Voxel going in the pro version. I agree, all the stuff is expensive. Um, and he's not convinced about the oceanology shoreline, which he's like, it doesn't see any foam, wetness, texture, splashing, or shallow breaking. Um, and again, I haven't really done anything too advanced with this stuff yet, um, but I'm really just going to kind of address one of the things that he had mentioned in here, and you can kind of see this the foam breaking on here. So this is kind of how you know it's interacting with the land, because as the waves break up on the foam, or up on the land, the foam's hitting it and radiating out away from the land itself. Um, so we can kind of demonstrate this with, here's what it looks like with land sticking out of the ocean. But if we uh, just kind of uh, disable the voxel, the voxel space, you'll notice there's still foam, but it's rolling with the movement of the waves as it would naturally do in the ocean. Um, but there's nothing that's centered around the place where the, the character's standing there, right? So all this is this is empty and foamless, really, for a little bit here. But if you turn back on the uh, voxel world here, you'll notice you instantly start to see the froth and the foam. So the waves are interacting with it. And one of the things I was kind of curious on when he was talking about that is, like, is this actually, like, stopping when it hits, hits the voxel? Um, and, you know, you can actually go into the voxel stuff and see. It's not actually stopping. But the the um, the surface is smart enough to know to say, hey, we're actually hitting some solid land. Let's render some some froth and foam here. And I know you can get crazy with this and make bigger waves and do all sorts of stuff with the uh, the waves. I'm on the calmest one because I'm just you know kind of messing around for, with it for a a static ocean layer for now. I'm not going to be doing anything too funky with it for the next phase of this. Um, Oh, and finally, one of the things they fixed, uh, someone who is a student may have noticed this as well, is that uh, when we had packaged um, the oceanography stuff, it, it hadn't rendered any of the, you know, volumetric stuff or um, any of the underwater effects other than, you know, just kind of the top of the wave, but they fixed that since then. Um, they've been busy fixing stuff that people bring up. So if we start our, our packaged version, there is a difference between packaged and unpackaged. They've now fix it, fixed the packaged um, assets so that if we um, actually package our game and uh, compile it, now you'll notice that even after the package, you get this nice underwater bloom effect. Like I said, I still don't have the caustics working here. Um, but you can see like the nice multi the multi texture bloom in here, um, and I don't think uh, I need to actually find out why I can't do um, voxel modifications in here with the TCP connector. You can see in the background in the server there's some attempted errors and stack traces and stuff. So I'll need to kind of like work with the uh, voxel plugin pro people to track that down. In fact, this is probably bad. Oh, the stack trace here. Don't know what this is, but. Um, I may have configured something incorrectly, but um, you saw in the editor that we were able to edit the box of world and all that kind of stuff. And so the, the end goal is that people in, in the world would be able to modify the voxel terrain and be able to you know synchronize across clients um, with the packaged version of it. And so everything else looks pretty pretty good at this point. We've got our clones. We can you know change our appearance, um, all that stuff. Um, I think I didn't really change anything there, but. You know, and now you got two different hairstyles on these young ladies um, hanging out on their island or whatever. Uh, got the the sound of the waves, the underwater stuff, um, and you'll notice actually that's interesting. Um, you saw a little bit of it. So here, 
this is kind of the effect we were looking at was hey you know where did my volume where did my fog go looks like it did it works it works it doesn't work and then you get below a certain level and then it starts to kick in um, so I'm not fully in fact uh, hopefully the uh, oceanography uh, team takes a look at this video and they're able to see kind of oh hey we know what's going on here but uh, like I said they're working on a more permanent fix for it um, cool well uh, MJ and Ian, I thank you guys for watching the video, and I appreciate your feedback. Uh, I figured I'd just make this as a quick, a quick, hey, I'm looking at the stuff and trying to take into account what you guys are asking about and just kind of show you where this stuff comes from and how it's designed. So again, if you guys have any questions or comments about any of the stuff that you've seen here, feel free to not only comment on my videos, uh, but uh, join the discords for any of these plugins. Uh, as I've been able to find, the developers are usually pretty helpful, and the community for each is, is pretty good. People work together, and people ask questions. Hey, I want to do, you know, God rays in, you know, uh, an ocean with a voxel landscape, and so people will chime in and be like, I tried that. Use this video. So it's been a really fun um, thing. So everyone who's helped me out, I really appreciate it. Um, thank you very much. All right.